Mr. Hamill explained this. This is we don't have any BZA meetings. This is the first one we've had since 2019. I think Mayor Fitch is the only one that's still on the board. <laughs> and, and you know, this question pops up pops up a lot. If, if a person wasn't president of the meeting, can they vote to approve the minutes? And the the latest uh, edition of Robert's Rules clarifies that. Uh, the vote is, is whether uh, whether the individual feels that the uh, minutes been accurately uh, put together, and so uh, according to the latest edition of Robert's rules, it is perfectly fine to vote in favor or against uh, minutes if, even if you were not were not Everybody have a chance to review the minutes. <laughs> over and over and over. Do I, do I have an? Motion to approve the minutes. I'll second. I'll second. I'm going to state one. I jumped in on the jello. All in favor? Yes. Approved? Approved? Yes. Okay. All right. Minutes are approved. Did you like to look at this? Uh, at the letter and the documentation? Yes. not have uh, Mr. Parks here? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Parks is going to... Uh, Chuck had a... Mr. Chuck had Parks Jr. is stuck in Nashville, so he's not going to be able to make it. But On his behalf? Yeah. Okay. But his dad's here to, in his spot. What he's looking to do on 114 Cedar Street, he was, started out just going to remodel the house. Uh, but the house is so in such bad shape, he just wanted to build new there. If you look at the, this goes back to almost the tiny homes. This is a non-conforming lot. This lot is not, I think it's 40, I wrote it down somewhere. 43. 43 feet wide. So he's looking for setback for a five foot variance on each side because of a 43 foot lot that gives him 13 feet. Is that right? The, yeah, 13 feet to deal with on side to side. Uh, the landowners that are adjacent to him is Mr. Pulley and Mr. Edwards. I have contacted both of them. I've sent them a letter. Uh, talking with them on the phone, they're, they're fine with the variance, whatever, whatever y'all go with. But they were informed of the meeting tonight, but I don't guess, I don't see them on here. So. Mr. Edwards, you just buy that, buy that house? Yes, ma'am. But what he's wanting to do, because if you look at it set on the map there, the front right corner or the front left corner of the house actually touches Mr. Pulley's land. The, the back right corner of the house actually touches Mr. Edwards' land. Now the house is built before zoning come in. So when zoning come in, that's where they put the lot lines. And now all he's wanting to do is center the house in the middle of the lot to get it off the lot lines. But to do that, it needs a five foot variance on both sides. Yeah, well, how's, how's that going to work out if Mr. Pulley builds apartments? And what if Mr. Pulley comes in and says, I want a five foot variance? Well, his lot is not a non conforming lot. And of course, he can't, he has to change that over to to get to build apartments there. He would have to change that over to a different. But if he didn't build apartments, and he, he, what if he comes in and asks for a five foot variance? And you've got 10 foot between houses. His is, his is not a non conforming lot. He couldn't ask for it. Correct. Well, he, he still could ask for a variance. Yeah, he right. still, he'd ask for it. So, I mean, it'd be up to y'all. <laughs> I mean, is he trying to build a, a white house? My house is 30 foot wide. Right. How, is, how, how wide is he trying to build it? He's not, he's not going to build a big house at all. He's, it's going to be a smaller house. Is it two story? It'd probably be two story. I, I've not seen the plans on it. He's not, he's just trying to get the variance first. But so. he can build marital houses. Right. To fit so. the lot. What is the size of that lot? It's 43 foot long. So you got 15 foot on each side. So that'll take them down to 13 foot. 13 <laughs> foot across. Yeah. Yeah. Signature of the garden. Mr. Clare, it's the variance. Uh, so the existing size setbacks are 15 feet. Is he hoping to get down 5 feet to 10 feet or 10 feet to 5 feet? He's also going to get 10 foot on each side. Okay. Have so a 10 got, foot side. Okay. side uh, what am I trying to say here? Uh, variance. Variance, yes. Yeah. You're saying it would be very 
unlikely that Mr. Foley or Mr. Edwards would ask for a variance since their lot, their lot, uh, Charles's lot, is a non-conforming and their is right? Correct. Okay. Correct. So they would be less likely to ask for a variance. It wouldn't make as much sense. Right. Right. Okay. <clears throat> because that driveway goes right along the, the property, the property right. line. So they drove around behind it and it, it goes downhill. Yes. We have to have a lot of fill in there. Yeah, it's 190 foot long, but it ain't 40, 43 foot wide all the way down it. I'm just concerned. All the houses along there are spread out. And then they have, have that so close. I mean, the house is there. I thought he was going to remodel it, but he took Well, that's, I mean, he still had he took that all the windows out. He took all the windows out and let it, the yep. weather. Kind of I mean, he, he still has the option to remodel it like it says. He just wants to center the house in the lot because it's kind of set at an angle, you know, and, uh, and get it off the property lines. That's no, the there, biggest There's issue. no um, objection from either side of the building, <coughs> right? No. Okay. How close is the lot to the front? It looks quite close to the, to the road itself. Is it, is it, it, it is. the house? Yeah. It's, yeah, I don't do, know. Do, how think, do, we, do you think it meets the, we don't know if it meets the road. But it's about the other house next to it. Yeah, yeah if it, it just felt, feels really close. Maybe mm -hmm. it's just it's because they close it in the front porch. Well, you can't see on the drawing here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all it's sort definitely. of, they're all pretty yeah. close. Yeah, that one's really close. <laughs> that's the only one that's that close. None of the other are that close. <laughs> Mine, it's I supposed think. to be what? Forty. Since we share a driveway, mine. Possibly. Yeah, and now, like I said, this house, this house is already here before the zone order is coming in. Yeah. So the current house is not. Let's just say it's not forty feet from the road. For discussion, we're saying it's only thirty feet from the road. I'm just going to wild and wild. Well, yes, that's what it is. But he, he would still put the thing further back than the new, the new if he, the smaller house and meet the rest of the setbacks. Yes, he would re meet the. He was he would set it back forty foot from the road because that's what the front setback. Is. So he made the other, so see it's, it's very it's close. You can see yeah, it. it is. If that's 43, it's gotta be mm -hmm. darn close. It's close to the road because so they closed that portion. Yeah, 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 if he's not totally yeah, in. If he's, yeah. I think it's totally reasonable. Yeah. Is there any further discussion? Um, just just a couple things, just to make, make sure some, some of the uh, items are clear. Uh, so they're, Two other things going on here too. Um, so in R one, the um, the lot is supposed to be 100 foot 100 foot wide and building setback line, which this lot is not. And then also the minimum lot area for a, an R one lot is 20,000 square feet, which this one is not. Um, and this does fall under. Um, there's a section of the zone room that's dealing with cases like this where the lots are. Where you had a small lot that doesn't fit the, the zoning when it was enacted. Now, just read that out. So, where the owner of a lot consisting of one or more adjacent lots of official record at the time of the adoption of this ordinance does not own sufficient land to enable him to conform to the order or other requirements of this ordinance, an application may be submitted to the Board of Zoning Appeals for a variance from the terms of this ordinance. Uh, such lot may be used as a building site, provided, however, that the yard and other requirements of the district are complied with as closely as possible in the opinion of the Board of Zoning Appeals as possible. Uh, and then it's helpful later on, too, I put the, uh, the, the uh, zoning ordinance has a couple of criteria for uh, variances which we'll just got listed in there in case that's useful. And then any determination the board makes would need to be, uh, we need to give sort of clear reason, you know, you know, here, here are the clear, so for instance, if it's, you know, if, if you would, if, if there would be an approval, you know, any conditions need to be carefully stipulated and then also, you know, for these reasons we feel justified or if there's a denial, needs to be very clear on it did not meet these criteria, that sort of thing. Or so just keep up on that, sorry. And I have his application right here. I didn't make copies and put it in there. But he did do the application and fill it out and pay for the, pay for the thing on uh, May 24th of 2024. So there's no way of knowing how wide he wants to build a house? Well, if he if he does it does the side setbacks where he's just got ten foot, I would assume he would do be at least 
least 20, 23 foot wide or 20 foot wide. I think because 23 foot would be the max he could build it width wise if he had five foot variance on each side. So any variance created would essentially give the maximum building envelope that, that he could build to. Right. And he could build Correct. maybe not all the way to that line, but that would be right. the maximum. Maximum he would be able to build on for the setbacks between the line. If he tears the house down, then he would have to move it back 40 foot for the front setback. But the existing house, if you chose to rehabilitate it in place, it then it's, it's existing non-compliant, so he can maintain it. And there are limits on how much he can expand and where he can expand, but the house can exist in it says. Encroach on the neighbors while he's renovating or building. He's going to be, if he has scaffolds or. or there's nobody living there. Living well, there's the, no house on one side. So. On one side, yeah. So to me, it's a better, it's an improvement for what we've got there. Yeah. Instead of a 15 foot setback, you'll have a 10 foot setback. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. And it has to be the front setback requirements. Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's yes. able to build the rear setback requirements and all the other things. I apologize, we just wanted to make okay. sure okay. it's good to, good to be Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Um, I thought I heard him say that the area had to be 20,000 square feet, and it doesn't meet that. It's only 8,000 square Nine, feet? 9,000. 9,000. Uh, okay, a little less than nine, so it's at 8,000. Okay. And according to your zoning thing, so you're going to give a variance for that too? We don't have to give a variance for that, though, Mike, correct? It, it, it's because approving. It's 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 approving. Approving. Well, no, it is approving to build on, uh -huh. on that lot, even though it doesn't. It's a, it's a lot of record. And, okay. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Is there anything okay. else? I think we're still okay with that. Yeah. And then the second part is the lot area, and also it doesn't meet the lot with the building setback requirement. Mm -hmm. so. Right. Right. Okay. Who first and second that? What now? Who first and second that? Uh, Lisa, I'm uh, a first and second. I second. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, motion to adjourn. Did we vote on that? Well, we did vote. We did vote on it. Right. So I'm making sure. I'm making sure. I have a point of order for a question before you adjourn. By all means, please. I would like to know. Um, Wait, would you state your name? Yes, my name is Alan Kraken. I live in the city of Dover. And uh, I would like to know exactly, without being able to communicate with the mayor, because her email doesn't work no matter what email. Uh, avenue I take, either Hotmail, Mail, um, Proton Mail, it doesn't matter. It all gets kicked out back to me, undeliverable. So my First Amendment right to address my grievance to my government 
is being blocked by the ability of, for some reason, engineers not being able to make her email work. So if I communicate via, I don't know, your attorney, the city attorney, Ms. Olivia Wan, would that be okay? So I would like to get my First Amendment rights to be addressed to get my grievance on your agenda because it doesn't seem that y'all want to obey the U.S. Constitution and the individual's right to have its uh, you know, grievances addressed by its government. And y'all are a form of government. You are my local government, my most powerful government. And if I can't address it, and I can't ever get on the agenda, and I can never talk, and so, you know, I can't get the problems solved that are in my home, you know, when I'm ankle deep in water. I want to get my address, I want to get my grievance address. And I want it on the next city council meeting agenda and the planning commission agenda. Could you put it in writing in a letter? Yes, I have put it in writing. I have not received it. Well, I, I sent did, it to Mr. Parks. I'm you. right here. I, I did, have received it. I did meet with you. You didn't ask me to speak on Yes, I do have see, a I have my email right here. As well, that I've not been asked for. And I asked Ms. Wong in a personal meeting that was present with my husband and Ms. Judith Field that your email wasn't working and she said that she would get that address. That was a couple weeks ago. And that hasn't been resolved. The local government was here today, Charles. So, I mean, uh, Jeff said today. And so, I want, and I, but I have a personal get my email. On the agenda. If you had a call me, I know we all met in your office. We met in Charles's office a few mm -hmm. months ago, okay. and we addressed some things. Mm -hmm. And I would be happy to give you my personal email or my cell number if you want to be put on the on the agenda to to um, to address. Yes. You know, we do a three minute to address mm -hmm. it. So, you know, I was not aware that you were wanting to be on the agenda. Um, well, I live at Colson Lake, affectionately known by all the locals. So that's prior knowledge that the city had that y'all knew that it flooded before you allowed those homes to be built. It's about an engineer, but what would be your What's your name? Tom McCracken. What's your name? Tom, Tom McCracken. McCracken. I'd be glad to give you my telephone number and my email. I have sent Mr. Parks uh, numerous emails. No, I just need to get um, and name it up. I would like to get on the agenda. I will give you my uh, personal email. I will. Yes. You just and, write it and, down. Cell number, and my cell number as well? Right. Yes, ma'am, because I don't try to hide anything. Not at all. And it was. May I walk out there? Thank you. It sure can. In fact, Miss Elvis got my. Uh, Cell number. I have spoken with uh, Mr. Uh, yeah. Cal uh, Bertrand, and uh, he said that there has never and there's never been a uh, injection well installed at that location. And the injection well permit was never issued until February 8, 2024. So any work that he did prior, he couldn't put it. He couldn't put an injection well without permission from the state, and he hasn't put one in. And that's why we keep playing. And Mr. Burchard said there's never been one put in. So I don't know if that's fraud on the city, but it's certainly fraud on the. Thank you for allowing me to ask the question. Can I see something? I know what point of order for I know how that pulled. Wait, 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 wait. Point of order for question. One more. Your name is, sir? John Page. John Page. What is this? Three minutes? Three minutes. That what they've done there, they caused more harm than they've done good. They went, if they've been left alone, it's been like a house straight across the road from us. It's got two jump cars buried in it, and that water goes down. They went there, they dug a hole, and I seen them put one tank in. A lady that lives next door on to that said they put two tanks in there, and they put a rock and a pipe in there, and that's all they've done. But that's not an injection well. That's not an injection well. Ain't nothing injection out here. They dug a hole, put two tanks in it, and a pile of rocks. Injection wells and can I know, be, I mean, injection wells can be gravity fed and they can be electric. Can be pumped. You don't do nothing. In my opinion, and I 
been around quite a bit. They've done more damage than they could correct. And EPA standards in the state of Tennessee, you may not end the install an injection Wait, well without permission. Just turns into uh, we all had our, our guests, we made a motion. We got our minutes to speak. The meeting is now over. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We did make a motion to adjourn, and we all voted on it. Who made the motion? Uh, she made the motion to adjourn. She made the motion to adjourn. Mr. Carey. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.